I'm paying my respects to a artist and a writer. His name was Stan Lee. As you may know, he passed away November 12th, 2018. Stan Lee had an influence on my youth. One of the first cartoons or characters I got introduced to was Spider-Man. I watched these cartoons when I was younger on television. Spider-Man was the one that I watched day in and day out. I knew exactly what time it was on. I got home after school and I made sure I was right in front of the television. I was tuned to the channel just before Spider-Man came on. And the reason for that, I actually liked the theme song for Spider-Man. I related so much to Peter Parker. Spider-Man, not so much. I don't have really spider powers or anything like that. But Peter Parker, he was a nerd. He was a geek in school, the jocks were picking on him, he didn't have many friends. I related to that because when I was in elementary school, I was a loner. I was quiet, I was to myself, I had maybe one, two friends maybe. I was a geek. I liked reading books, I liked comic stuff, I enjoyed that more than I was to go outside and hang out with people or meet new friends. That wasn't me. I watched Peter Parker, how he dealt with being unpopular in school and then keeping this secret of Spider-Man from his friends. Not that I had like powers or secrets, but I really didn't want anyone to know that I was more of a geek than I was in school. I wanted to read books and I wanted to study and I, I wanted to become smart. I wanted to become knowledgeable in things I'm learning. People didn't think that was cool. It was cool to go out and, you know, play basketball, play sports, meet new people, do not so good things. Realize this, when I was younger, I didn't know who Stanley was. I just knew these characters. I knew these cartoons. I knew these characters' friends and how they lived in their world. And I relate so much to it. A second cartoon I watched was X-Men. Everybody was different. You had mutants versus people. <laughs> I always thought I was a mutant. I always thought I was different. They get along, they're fighting, and, and these mutants found different mutants to come friends with, to team up with. Then you had enemies, and they fought back and forth. But then you also had Professor Xavier, who had an enemy, Magneto. But they were actually friends before. And sometimes they'll get along and then fight a bigger enemy. It was so interesting and so complex, and that's what life was. Let's take for example, one of the famous lines that Stanley wrote, with great power comes great responsibility. This guy, Flash Thompson, he probably deserved what happened. But just because you can beat him up, doesn't give you the right to. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And I'm pretty sure you heard this if you ever watched Spider-Man or any of the Spider-Man movies. It's one of the most famous lines in Spider-Man. I wasn't going to get superhuman powers. To me, great power meant with more knowledge, more understanding of the world, to learning more, to having that skill. You can't just use that knowledge in a negative way. You have to be responsible with it. That line was so universal. The meaning for that line was so universal. Everyone could relate to that line in some way, form, thought idea. I like to thank Stanley for all the stories and characters that he's made. They're in movies now and more people can enjoy them. If you've never read one of Stanley's comic books or watched the cartoons, it's on the big screen. And I do hope that the content I create touches someone, helps someone, provides insight to someone. And if that doesn't happen, I hope it just provides entertainment. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Check out Ims Cubed for vlogs. I swear I'm gonna edit more vlogs. Check out all the Vancouver Talks videos, more videos for, on the Imsquare channel. Seriously, thanks. And I'm almost, almost at 1,000 subs, and that's one of the goals that I've been pushing for for a while now, so please subscribe. Ask your friends to subscribe, ask your parents to subscribe. If your dog has a YouTube account, subscribe. Imsquare out. It's just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man.